Hey, g'day guys. It's Adam from Video Show Me How with another trip ready review. And today we're gonna be checking out the Sabre X from 23.0. We're gonna be doing a full walk around and looking at all the features that the tent comes with. Gonna be sharing my thoughts after using this on a full Cape trip, about 7,000 kilometer round trip. And then we'll finish up with some quick fire pros and cons. So stick around, let's get started. Now this is the new X version of the Sabre rooftop tent from 23.0. It borrows the same X frame structure that the Yaoi rooftop tent has and you can check out more detail on that particular type of rooftop tent over on the channel where we did a full review. Now why the X thing is pretty cool is because it eliminates the extra little dead space that you have with this style of rooftop tent. Normally with this style they'll open like that with the hinge down in the corner here and the, the sort of the downside of that is you end up with this little sort of space down the end where it kind of comes down to a point and you can't really do anything with it. You can't get your noggin in there, you can't get your feet in there. With the X, however, like you'll see in just a sec when we do the setup, it raises the whole lot up and then angles it. And the upside of that is you end up with a bunch more space here at the end, about sort of almost 30 centimeters. And they even squeeze in an extra little window at the end, which really helps with that ventilation and reduces any sort of condensation. Now, dimensionally with this guy, it is a bigger rooftop tent. It comes in at 2070 in length and about 1170 in width, but it only sits up about 200 millimeters in height. Now from a weight perspective, this guy is on the heavy side, but similar to all of this style of rooftop tent, comes in at about the 85 kilo mark. The ladder, which is down there, you can store inside. We found that to start to get pretty grubby up at the Cape with dust and stuff everywhere. So that ended up going in the back of the D-Max. That weighs about five kilos. So all up, you're probably in for about 90 kilos overall. Everything is really high quality and heavy duty from the actual handles themselves to the grab side of things where you help pulling that down. We'll check that in a sec. The base is a 20 millimeter honeycomb base. It is a solid one, not like those rooftop tents that have slats that you can kind of half feel through the bottom of the mattress. This is a full solid base. The seals work really well. And I can attest to that. We've been up all the way to the very top of Australia to Cape York and back. If you've done that trip, you'll know dust gets everywhere. And I was really happy to find that there wasn't any dust that got inside. Now, additionally to that, on the top, it was great to see that there are some roof racks built in. And I've put a big old house panel here. It's an old, uh, an old stonker, but it did the job. And they mount directly to the roof racks that come with the rooftop tent. I think that is pretty cool. All right, I reckon from here, let's flick on over to first person mode. Let's start the old setup clock and let's get this guy all set up. Right, to set the guy up, it is dead easy. There's literally four of these guys to do. And it's just those couple of straps. Bang and bang, the little clamshells. I think they're called clamshells. Let me know in the comments. And something like that. But those guys, one, two, three, and four. Super, super simple. I reckon this guy's gonna be about the minute mark, I reckon. That just comes off. I leave some flex there for that cable. And then for me, because of the extra weight of that solar panel, which is about 16 kilos or something like that, normally it would pop up by itself, but you just gotta give it a little helping hand. We pull the bungee just out of the way. There it goes, it does the rest itself. This is Cape Fresh, I haven't actually been back in here. So this is what I normally did at the Cape. I just kind of half zipped so that it was kind of, um, had a little bit more dust suppression. There's the back window. I don't know if you can see that. I just grabbed the poles. They do have a bag, but I sort of gave up on the bag because I was opening it and closing it every day which this kind of tent is perfect for because it is so fast. That is all set up. So stop the clock. Just getting attacked by the uh, cable there. Stop the clock. That is as simple as it gets. And as you can see, that is lightning fast as far as the setup. We weren't even rushing there. Let's flick on over to the main camera and let's run through some of the features that this guy comes with. Right, so here we go. Here is the 23-0 Sabre X, you can see on the side, here we go, here's the X action. So you can kind of see what I was talking about there before, and there's the extra headroom and our cheeky little window. And we'll have a look at that inside in just a sec. Now you can see from down here, the awning, so you do get a little bit of protection there. You can sort of sit out the side, keep some of that rain off, because right at the top there, that we'll have a look at in a sec when we jump inside, that vented bit all at the top, that's a big window. And that's a big plus 
because you can vent this guy like crazy. Now, if we jump up there, although one thing I have forgotten is the ladder, so this is a good little demo. We can do this full one-handed mode. This thing is cape fresh and needs a bit of a clean. How this works is it just clips on the sides like that and drops all the way down, just like that. So you can even do it one-handed, there you go. Gloves are optional, of course. So if we jump up on the side, this is how I did it all the way at the cape. Little uh, zips in at the side, and it was as simple as that. And then in we get. From here, like you can see here, I left all of the sleeping bags inside. I had two in here. These are the big ones from 23.0. Wildly too warm for the cape trip, but what it did do is add a heap of extra cushioning and extra comfort for us to be able to lie on top, which was great. Speaking of cushioning and comfort, you do get a velour covered mattress here. Definitely needs a bit of a clean from the cape. It is 50 mil of high density, which was certainly comfy enough. And then as you can see on the base, here's the honeycomb base and you automatically get a full any condensation matting that comes with. And that actually is quite spongy as well to give you a little bit extra uh, comfort as well. All right, if we have a look inside, what I might do is rip these guys out and open some windows up because just like all the other bits and pieces from 23.0, like their awnings and everything, and same with the Yowie, you have the LST technology, which is the light suppression. And as you can see there, that is super, super dark, right? My ISO on the camera is just shot up to 13,000 thing and it's night time. But you can see just how effective that is. You can check out in the Yowie one as well. I sort of zipped everything up and it is pitch black inside. So what I might do now is I'll just, I'll just grab all of this stuff out and open the windows up. We'll jump inside and have a bit of a look at what you get inside the tent. Right, so here we are inside the tent. Now I don't have my super wide angle lens, so you have to bear with me. That's a bit of a look down the end there. You can see that we've got that extra bit of height here on the end, which is just excellent. I'll put my, uh, my size 11 down the end here to give you a bit of an idea. It's about, it's about that foot height, but I've got that touching that back window. So that's, that's a big plus with that. Normally you'd have your, your foot sort of jammed down the side there if you want to maximize the length of the inside of the tent. I'm about 190 centimeters tall and I can lie flat the whole length, which is really, really good. From a width perspective, it's about the 1100. It's definitely a two person type tent, I would say. Now, if you have a look around inside, like we mentioned, we do have the big vents along the top as well as down, this, down the end here. They're all accessible from the inside, of course, as well. So you can zip either inside or outside, depending on the weather. A couple of other cool things is you get built-in LED lights. And that's what these guys are. They go all the way down the side and then similarly all the way along this side as well. They have these cool little switches here. These guys have a little, uh, a little switch there that will enable three levels of brightness. We only use level one and it was bright enough. How they work is just a standard USB on the end. So just a little power bank, something like that. And then down the end, they have these handy little pockets. And we found those to be great because that's where we'd stash the power bank. Outside of that, up the top here, you have a whole bunch of storage. And this I found to be really, really cool. You have a see-through one in the middle. So if you're wanting to watch little movies or something on a little tablet, and when you're lying down this end with your noggin down here, it was a perfect angle. I could lie there on the old pillow and have something holding my phone up there watching some uh, video show me how on YouTube, of course. And then finally, just one thing I wanted to show you, just underneath our mattress layer and then our condensation mat, if you have a look under here, this is where you're getting that waterproofness. You can see in all of the seams, they're all double stitched. They are all seam sealed, which is excellent. You can see that all the way around. That makes a huge difference to the overall quality. But then this is the big difference with some of the other tents on the market with the slats, I guess, is this is a full honeycomb floor. And you can see how it actually comes up at the sides like that. So when you close this guy down, it has something similar on the top. It does sandwich together. And that is excellent for things like cape trips, trips and cape trip dust because it doesn't allow any in. You can see here, like I said, this is straight from the cape. This hasn't, I haven't even pulled it out. As you saw with those sleeping bags that need a desperate bit of airing from the trip. Um, we're only been back for a few days. This, there's no dust at all in there. 
that's a big plus for this style of tent in my book. So let's jump back out of the tent, back down there somewhere, and let's flick on over to first person mode. Let's start that pack up clock and get this guy all packed away. Right, so first up is the ladder. Like I mentioned there before, I like having these windows just sort of halfway up, just like that, just to help with the dust and what have you. So just keep them half zipped up nice and easily, just like that. Then you just need to unhook the old ladder. It'll just compact down just like that. And then this is easy, Velcro, Velcro, and you're away. Just jump up at the end here. Same story with our ends as uh, we saw there at the pack up or the setup side of things. You can leave, um, if you don't do that inside thing, it's not the end of the world, but it just makes life a little bit easier. So if you forget, it's not the end of the world. From there, um, I just pull down a little bit. Then don't forget your little bungee. Get that up nice and high, just there and there. And then as you're pulling in, you can tuck in your little side there, grab the grab handle, and then have a bit of a cheeky look down the side as you're tucking it up, just to make sure everything is nice and tight on the seal. Tuck in anything there. And then that's, that's pretty much it. These clamshells just clam back in place. One and two there. Jump around the front and do the same thing. Nice and easy. There's our front ones. You can leave your bedding in there. I didn't have a full pillow that I left in there, but like you saw when I opened it up, I did keep all of my sleeping bags in there. So I had two in there and that was no dramas at all. So there you go, stop the clock. I don't know what time that was, but I feel like that was pretty snappy. Wasn't sort of ripping around too crazy either. Um, that gives you a bit of an idea. And that's one of the big advantages with this style of tent is it is ripping fast. So I reckon let's get over to the main camera and let's rip through some quick fire pros and cons. Right, so I think pro number one definitely needs to be speed. The setup and pack down of this guy is lightning fast like you saw. That's gotta be a big pro, particularly if you're on the move every day. Pro number two for me is the LST technology. The same as I talked about with the Yowie version of the roof top tent from 23.0. The LST in there makes a huge difference, particularly if you're an early, not an early bird rather like me. I, I love the fact that you can make that thing completely dark in there, regardless if it's day or night. And pro number three for me is definitely the skinniness of it, if you can call it that. It is quite slim. So compared to something like the Yowie, for example, I still got this guy into a car park that was only 2.28, and I reckon I was only 2.2 meters in height. That's with all of that on there. So now thinking about some cons, I guess number one is really around the weight. Now you can't really get away from that. You can't really escape it with this style of rooftop tent. Uh, you know, 85, 90 kilos on your roof. By the time I'm adding in an awning there, we're, we're right on sort of 100 kgs, that sort of thing. It is a bit of weight to have up there, but uh, something to think about. Like I said, I don't know if you can escape that with this style of tent. You know, number two con for me is probably more to do with the, the type of tent because of the style of the way that they're going up. They are a bit narrower than something like a Yowie, which is gonna open sideways. So depending on what your needs are, you, you know, you need to kind of obviously pick what's gonna suit you. That's that's one for me that I noticed straight up is they definitely are a little bit narrower than some other style of tents. Well, that's it for this one, guys. That is the full trip ready review of the 23.0 Saber X rooftop tent. As with all of my videos, I'll put a link in the video description of where you can purchase one of these for yourself or find out a stack more information outside of this review. Massive thanks to the patrons of Video Show Me How. You guys are a bunch of legends as always. Now, if you're interested in supporting more content just like this, head on over to patreon.com com forward slash video show me how you can check out what's going on over there i tend to do a, a, a bit of a giveaway for patrons uh, every month or so over there you also get a bunch of perks and merch of course for playing along so head on over there if you're interested in finding out more of course for more trip ready reviews head on over to the video show me how youtube channel that you're on right now and check out the other ones hit the old subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell so it notifies you every time i bring out a new video but other than that, guys, as always, I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.